Good evening, everyone. My name is Angela Mills. I work for the town manager here in the town of Amherst. I'd like to welcome everyone to a meeting of the Amherst Cultural Council. This meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded to the town of Amherst YouTube channel and can also be found on the video link on the Amherst Cultural Council webpage, which is part of our town website, amherstma.gov. At this time, I would like to recognize one of the co-chairs, Julianne, and I will make you the host and wish everyone a great evening. Angela, quick question before you hop off. Sure. Do I still need to read my script in addition to what you just read, or is that redundant? No, I mean, at this time, I think we can acknowledge that since the pandemic, the governor <clears throat> has extended the suspension of certain open meeting laws, and that allows us to meet by Zoom and allows people to be in the comfort of their homes. And we should mention that it's also, we found in the town of Amherst, it has increased the participation from the public. Great. Yeah. Excellent. So now I think we're all set. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so I will start with our audio roll call, starting with Eleanor. Hi, I'm trying very desperately to get these headphones connected, but it's not working. But, but my audio might be a little weird during this. So, but it's okay, good. We'll, we'll definitely keep us surprised if you're having any any trouble. Will do. Thank you. Sorry, there's I was doing the headphones because there's no I figured, yeah. Here. Yeah. <laughs> but perfect. Okay. And Christy. Hello. Greetings. Greetings. Good to have you. Cody. Uh, hello. Hello. Good to have you. And Rachel. Hello. I'm here. Thank you for being here, Rachel. <laughs> okay. Um it's been a whirlwind. I honestly have not looked at what Matt sent out last night. Um, <clears throat> uh, so I, I did go back through, uh, and notice that there were a few that we had, um, deliberated earlier on that I'd like us to, um, to go through now that we, we missed that they still had not actually provided us with, um, the information that we were needing as far as dates and times, um, can you just, I have so many tabs open folks um, that are not at all related. So let me see if I can find the one I'm looking for. Almost there. How is everyone? Pretty good? Pretty all right? Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm getting there. It's one of those nonstop meeting days. Okay. So, um, going um, back through, starting with um, number 18 which was the Bear Dehi Field Station project. Um, we timed out on this one. Um, and I, we did say we would come back to discuss it further. Uh, they, they did not provide any additional details other than it would be in Amherst, Massachusetts from 2024 through 2027. Hey, Matt. I'm going back through and starting with the ones that we had missed um, from earlier deliberations who didn't provide any additional details on our our call out prior. Um, I guess I need to check your audio, Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Did you did you want to start with anything before we get just continue rolling on with the the ones that we missed from Tuesday? So these are the these are folks who did what did not provide enough information. They they were it was in question in our notes um, after we deliberated as to whether or not um, we really did have uh, a date and a location from them, and I, I missed them on. At, at the end of our session on Tuesday. Okay, who, who are we talking about? 
So we are on uh, sequence number 18, which is the Bear Dehi Field Station project that's listed as being just in Amherst and from 2024 to 2027. Okay. Um, they, didn't, they didn't further refine anything concrete. Yeah, I think we may have slightly different. I mean, I think this one is not as typical as sort of a dance performance or something. So I'm I'm less comfortable just outright saying that they don't meet our criteria. Um, you know, because it's an like they have this ongoing span, but as long as as long as they're using the funds towards a cultural purpose within this fiscal year. I, I personally don't think that, you know, we need to see the end. Um, you need to see it end. We just need to see public benefit this year. So they, there's they probably other issues with this one, correct? Yeah, they didn't really come back with anything that we public benefit this year. When you look at a project where we're required for folks to complete the final grant report, you know, by the end of the year, within two weeks of completing it, it's kind of, it's pretty disconnected as far as how they could structure that they would have had to have written it specifically for the work they were going to do in 2024 right yeah um, I, I don't know i guess to me like you can write a final grant report that says how you spent the money this year i don't see how you can do that when you know it, you've got a budget that goes for for three years and um i mean i think it's something that we have to address well, we have addressed in our guidelines, for one, you know, that the, the projects all must be completed by December 31st, 2024 is, is the requirement. So, so I don't see how to... Project completed or funds expended? Because I think there's two... Uh, do you want to pull the, the letter that we send? I, I believe it's both is the way it's written. Not, I, I understand that, you know, maybe that we should look to to have that evolve on some level if we want to be it wouldn't be the letter it would be the um the guidelines on the mcc site yeah i mean i think also with with direct granting it it becomes a challenge to put that money out there out up up front and to be in a position where folks aren't completing the project and then they could potentially be applying for funds again the following year or are they precluded from applying for funds because this goes through 2027 um yeah so nothing there's nothing in our local guidelines that say that you're you know you can't have like you you can't have a multi-year thing um we do say but, that the, the the project must be completed within the 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 calendar year the fiscal year not in our local guidelines we don't but in the contract letter. Well, the contract letter, it wouldn't be fair to penalize somebody for not knowing what the contract letter was going to say. Because because that's not, you know, that's not a public so document. Do, do we have a specific location other than the town of Amherst? And uh, please, any anyone else has any has anyone? I, I'd just be happy to hear from from others about you know the extended format location. Um, so we are at time with this one. Also, I have in my notes from our prior discussion that this one does not meet our criteria, um, but I didn't write down details, and I think that had to do with the venue and dates. I don't know if anyone else has notes. I had no date, no letter, and that, yeah, and that it, it timed out. Yeah, I am confused about why this is even a debate because it has no date, it has no road. In case you know it's but it's that the issue this grant cycle 
all that. I know we dress, so I'm at a loss on how to address it even further. It feels like people say, oh, hey, let's apply for this and just see what happens in no interest in the fall up. Yeah, I, I agree that it's like, oh, I'll put it out there and we'll see. Um, is... Can we, can we take just a quick show of hands of who supports funding versus not? I, I, in my mind, I'm, I'll just, I, I can't see how to support funding and I wouldn't even know how to administer it. I feel it's, uh, sets up kind of a, you know, uneven footing with the rest of the grantees. Should we? put this through I yeah guess. i'm I'm fine declining it i think i would rather decline it on the basis of of not meeting um public benefit as opposed to criteria it's just there's there's too much um i, I mean yeah i just have i, I still that. have questions about it but okay uh great and then uh the next one we need to look at is right after number 19 this was a feature film They've given a, a date of um, November 1st, 2023 in the uh, um, application and that it would be an Amherst mass, but they didn't follow up and provide any, any other information or anything stating that it actually happened. So I, I don't believe this one meets our criteria. I feel like I recall us. Also, can you hear me okay with the headphones? Yeah, yeah, on? yeah. Okay, great. Um, I feel like I remember us saying that it didn't meet our criteria and that we weren't going to fund it, but and we had decided on that. But maybe I'm wrong. We okay. ran out of time. Okay. Well, just just revisiting is uh, is everyone okay that it doesn't meet our criteria? Then, yep. Great. Thank you. Yep. Uh, and then the uh. Next one would be um, number number twenty nine, the Kimya Diggs Holiday Show. This one is listed as the Drake, uh, and she has performed at the Drake, so we have every reason to believe that that should happen. But we still have no no letter and and no no specific date, no no further information on this one, uh, which was a pretty good size ask that we really would like to fund, but. Um, I was hoping to hear back on this one. So the issue here is no specific date and, and the Drake, we're questioning the Drake as a venue. Well, just you know, we we were rather clear in the email that we would we would need a confirmed date and location, and that you know, ideally a letter of support. Uh, and to hear nothing is is concerning. Um, I know that we all don't have time to go look at this. Schedule shows. I'm just I did curious look. if it is schedule and they just yeah no no I, 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 I did look because I was hoping it would be there but in all fairness a date yeah. a year in advance um I don't I don't think they're publishing the schedule a year in advance over at the Drake on the website. But I did check just in case because I was like hoping I could just tie it up with a nice bow that it was there. Um uh Okay. Well, that's I mean, I guess the problem for me is is similar, which is like 
and I sent you the picture from the, there's a huge newspaper article that I saw today about this, you know, the holiday show that's coming up in a week or two. And so for us to penalize somebody for not having a specific day in, a, you know, a year from now, it's just, you know, because we, of the way that the year, the, the way that the year works. Well, uh, I just would have liked to have heard directly that, hey, we're, this show is happening and, you know, let, let me have the Drake email you that, you know, or that something we're, we're going to get on the schedule for next year. I mean, Matt, if you, if you'd like to, to email, you know, directly and see if you can get a response. Um, Cause I, I really think it, this should be a go, but um, in all fairness to everyone else, there, you know, is, is no set date and no communication and no letter from the Drake yet. And yet it looks like it should be solid. Right. But yeah, I, I will. I'll do an extra follow up with this one because I, I think, you know, the timing of it, just because it's a holiday show for, for yeah. next year and she's in the middle of preparing for this year's yeah. holiday show. I, yeah. I'm not comfortable certainly zeroing it out based on, you know, I'm not I'm not either. I'm just trying to be fair to to everyone else that we're holding to a standard of having a date in the location and, and at, at a minimum communicating when when it's been vague in the, the application. Well, put it this way. I mean, the the minutia, like the the show that is happening this month, we could fund that with this current grant cycle, you know? I'm sorry, what's that? It the show that, it, that they are currently doing this month could be funded by this. Like we could be giving a grant for this coming show. And we know that's got a date and advertising and everything in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, we have to do it as as the grant is written. Yeah, of course. Uh, and then thank you for reaching out so that we can ideally keep this, um, number 39, James Garrett, a simple circle, the democratize democratization of photography and its impact on society. It, its date range was 2023 to 2024 at the Amherst public library. Uh, we wanted to do a high partial, but we've heard nothing back on this one. So I don't I don't think we can fund something that's got a date range of, you know, over a year and no communication. This is going to be the exhibit, right? Mm hmm. Does the lack of a date have anything to do with the Jones rather than? At, at, this, at this point, my concern is the lack of communication, that there is no date and there's no communication as to why there's no date. There's just, you know, nothing. And we, we have heard from several grantees as far as the Jones is concerned that, you know, there's some some scheduling, you know, juggling going on. Um, and And in those cases where we've gotten a letter of support from the Jones, that certainly makes me feel better that they're at least in touch with them. They know that the reality of getting scheduled is a challenge and that the Jones has said, yes, we want them. We're going to work it out. That to me, that's good enough. But but no communication at all um, is is rather concerning. So a lot of what I worry about is the communication and and we kind of covered our let me be specific. So in these denial letters that we send, mm -hmm. um, if we are going to, you know, do things beyond the MCC standard letter, we need we need good, strong language for that. And by sending out the email that we did a couple of weeks ago, where we explained to folks that they're going to get denied if they don't, you mm -hmm. know, confirm time and date, I, we have, unfortunately, you know, we now have established a pretty clear criteria, local criteria for mm -hmm. denial. So I hate this because I, 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 the work here is, is amazing, but I think given the uncertainty of the Jones and mm -hmm. the range is an entire year, I, I don't, I think we just have to deny this one outright. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sad to say it as well. Okay. Um, and there are there are two two more. Sorry to go back to number thirteen and fourteen. George Baker had a Dixieland Stomp concert and an LBG band concert. Uh, we could have only funded one of them either way, but we've received no information um, about a date 
uh, and the location was not determined on either of those. So I believe we need to also not fund those since we've had no communication. These are the two George Baker ones? Yeah. We've heard nothing. Unless there's something I don't know. I'm just looking to see if there's anything that came through. I mean, the senior center is usually very good about sending a letter. Yeah. You know, for somebody, I mean, they, yep. they'll be yep. they're very eager to have content. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything from them. Okay. Um, great. All right. So I believe that gets us caught up with, with uh, those earlier ones. And now we are at um, grant number... 45, we have quite quite a few to get through. Matt, you had made a suggestion that we all kind of come prepared to be able to discuss anything that, you know, we feel strongly about fully funding or not um, not funding. Um, so uh, I guess guess we can should we start going going through with with each one and just say, if there's anybody who wants to fully fund it or if there's anybody who doesn't want to fund it at all and tackle those first, because I think we can go quickly through the ones that we agree are good enough to fully fund, um, hopefully. Um, well, I just, I want to say also that I did send out a, you know, kind of a meaningless balance slate for folks just to, just to give people a feel for what kinds of, you know, choices we're going to have to make. Um, so not, yeah i i haven't sh shared kind of the running i mentioned last time that i have a running tally that I, I keep as we zero things out and that we need to get a little little closer um excuse me a minute yep does anyone have any questions while matt's popping away for a minute yes you go ahead christy there i need to know where we are i'm okay. like Yep. Yeah. Uh, that That's an excellent question. I'm sorry. So we had 103 grant applications, which is quite a lot to get through. We've had a couple of meetings that ended uh, quite early and um, so, uh, some that didn't happen at all because we didn't have a quorum. Uh, so we've been, we're pretty crunched for time. Uh, we took, took the approach to want to first and foremost, understand which grants um, it looks like we will need to, to deny for either not enough public benefit uh, or um, not, not meeting our criteria. So we've gotten through that list. Um, sequentially going through, it puts us at grant sequence number um, 45 is are the ones that uh we we still need to go through and and discuss we've got quite a, quite a lot of them still even with several um having fallen out between numbers 45 and 103 does that help so what i'm sorry sorry it was a simpler question like which one are we talking about next so if to go sequentially down through the rest we would be talking about number 45 and on, and 45 is Hannah Harvester's Climate Cafe series. Do you want me to time box? If so, for how many minutes? Um, yeah, we'd have to be a little tighter. M my suggestion is that we kind of expedite this further by going through each one's, and if they're taking on the ones first that people feel they would fully fund if possible versus any that uh, folks feel they, they they would question funding at all. And then circle back to the ones that weren't quite, you know, one way or the other. Well, so, so Julian, a, a process note, that's why I sent the balance slate, right? Because we, I don't think we're going to be able to sort of do a, a one by one, you know, time boxed de debate through all yeah, of them in, in a meeting and a half, two meetings. So I, I can share my screen with the balance slate on it. And um, 
you we can have more of a, like a holistic conversation about the items as they come along and there might be a couple that i didn't catch i mean i've been making changes as, as you've been pointing out some of these um these mm -hmm. uh, these other non-qualifiers mm -hmm. um, so what do you think if i do? oh if you can just perm give that permission um oh well it's a it's it's a, a different approach um Sorry, I'm not Zoom native. I should be by now. It'd be my my preference that we not be quite so leading by putting the numbers out before we discuss them, but I guess what's the difference? Found it. Well, and I, you know, this is not um yeah, nothing's final, right? Nothing's it's, final it's because really, even even if we deny someone, they still have the right to appeal. Like it, it is a very fluid process, but we well, do need to move through. And it's what we did last year. We we did this same kind of exercise last year, and I, it was it was pretty good. The difference being, of course, that we had more time. We we got through the entire thing sequentially yeah. first. Um, so I, you know, they had requested um climate cafe had requested 500 from us and the balance slate has has them at 250 and this was a um i don't know if we do, do we want to do the summary of it or are or, or folks pretty i mean folks have read it through now right so th this is another one though where when you look through the materials it looks good you know i mean but there's um no letters of support or firm dates, but it, I I think it's pretty well detailed when you actually get into the the application. And yet, if it started in October 2023, I'm concerned that nothing was communicated when when we asked for more information. That's correct, right? They didn't get back to us with anything. Yeah, I don't right. Um this was it's, not one on my radar as being a concern for for logistics. It, yeah, there's it it wouldn't be a concern to me if they had communicated something. Um I'm going to stop sharing so I can pull up the documents. I I didn't realize that this one was in question. Um I mean, it's a really nice, it's a really nice proposal. Um, multiple venues in Western Mass, Hitchcock, Kestrel, Sunderland Public Library. Um, and yeah, there's, there's a list of, of um, individuals who have made commitments to hosting them, uh, including the Hitchcock manager, management at Hitchcock, Hitchcock management at Kestrel. Um, To date, they've got use of uh, use of the Hitchcock. They've got permission to use the Hitchcock. So I don't know. I mean, it seemed good. I, I think it's good, but it, again, it's like you. It, why didn't they reply that hey, we're 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 doing this. We started it. You know. Um, well, I think it's just volunteer organizations. I mean, you know. For me, I, I'm not going to I'm not going to judge them based on correspondence necessarily. I mean, you, you know, responsiveness to emails and artists is not always those are not always two things that go hand in hand. Um, so I, I I would propose that we fund them at 250, you know. But yeah, I, I think it's worth trying to still reach out and make sure before we make it official that, you know, they do have some dates. But I think that's the right amount. Does anyone else? And 
That sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. And there's Hilltown families. I feel like we had a, a long debate about this last year. You know, some folks felt that they didn't meet our criteria. Others felt they they did. I had them at, you know, $350. This is the newsletter for yeah. anybody who doesn't recall. I mean, I, I see the value of it. Um, I think there'll always be a question as to whether it truly meets our criteria. But from my perspective, it's... It's hard to, well, it helps artists to have people, you know, uh, with getting the word out, it means that an entire other event just won't happen because of, of partially funding this. What event won't happen if we fund this? Something to the, what, you have this at 350 bucks, right? Is that what, did you have, sorry, I, I can't look at all the places at once. How much do you have this one slated for? Well, that's why I proposed the draft slate. I don't. I wouldn't say that somebody's going to get zeroed out because we give three fifty to this. I think it's just a, you know, it's a matter of of sort of apportioning the money across, you know, hundred or however many, you know, eighty grants. Sure. Yeah. And and I would still say though that you know, for another event, you know, that that's the the full stipend and the whole event doesn't happen if somebody doesn't get their stipend. You know. Okay, I mean, I, we can zero it out this year and and say that it doesn't meet our criteria, and that's you know that, that's yeah. fine with me. I, I don't. I... Is there anyone who feels strongly about supporting it? I mean, I've been on the fence for a while, so I don't. I think it's okay. Um, I would say that fun is it's been a very debate. If we saw substantial improvement, I'd say absolutely, but we still feel it'd be a debate which we don't have time. So I would feel comfortable decline this thank you anyone else what do we have next then uh next we have hilltown youth recovery theater yeah to the extent that we have the funds, I support fully funding this. The only knock against it is that it's, you know, not right in <clears throat> Amherst, um, but it it does. I mean, if everyone's read through this one, uh, it's it's just a fantastic cultural event for for uh, a group of people who are really going through a uh, transformative and challenging time. And it's a reasonable ask for what they're doing. Yep. Anyone else? No, I think it's an awesome summer program. I would thank him for funding this. Right now, I think I'm comfortable with the way Matt has it um, for the for the current um, at the current point. That's my personal opinion. And bear in mind, I wasn't; these were not value judgments. So this is just me trying to get to a balanced slate. Um, right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Be looking at all the numbers, I think right now that looks fine to me. Okay. Well, I. I, you know, I, I tend to agree that this is about as good of a, of a um, applicant as we get. So, um, if we put them in at a thousand, you know, that we're still below. So based, you know, I, I, and I'm going to be just because of time, mm -hmm. I am going to keep our eye on the bottom line here. Um, we're, you know, we're still within range by, because we zeroed out a couple more tonight. Um, mm -hmm. So. Yeah, 
I think we would all want to 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 fund this to the extent that we yeah. can. Oops. All right, coming back up to um, electrify Amherst. I also I like this one. Um, how did folks? This is the one where they wanted to paint yeah. utility boxes. This is coming from. Isn't this coming from our uh, public art commission? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know if I would fully fund, considering how much of an ask it is compared to the total amount that that we have. But it is something that's just charming and that gives people a sense of place here and and in history, um, in a, in a playful way. Yeah, I like it too. I think it's like one of the most public forms of like non-performance art. I think yeah. that's really cool. And I and I like where you got it at with the budget. Where where is the budget? I I'd like to see us give closer to cl certainly not the whole budget, but closer to half. So their their budget breaks down 1500 for um artists to mm -hmm. do the work and 200 for supplies. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, I mean I I also would love to see Pretty close to full. <laughs> um, now, I, I will say this. This is one of these downtown projects similar to the Emily Dickinson um, box. And they do point out without full funding from ACC, we can request funds from local business leaders and community orgs. Mm -hmm. They'll get that. You know, it, it, that, that's that's a good downtown initiative. Uh, Chrissy, were you just agreeing or did you want to make a comment? <laughs> just agreeing. Yeah. So I, th I think certainly healthier than 340, but maybe if we say 1500 to cover the artist's salary or or maybe even 1200. Uh, and if if we have all the funds, I'm with you there as far as I'd I'd like to be at least half to a thousand. Um, okay. If... Why don't I put them in at half for now? Yeah, I would say eight hundred to a thousand. Okay, let's do that, and then that'll be one that we can, if we can, if we have sweetening money later, we'll come back to and and sweeten it up a little. Okay, excellent. Okay, then we have the Human Agenda Theater. Is this Silverthorn? No, no, it's not. Uh, and it will be at Hawks and Reed. Um. Yeah. So I mean it's great for for theater in the in the area um and yet it, I think it's going to have to take a you know we are going to have to consider location here as far as the amount that can be funded. Yeah. And I say this every time Hawks and Reed comes up. I mean they are one of the few, you know, it's nice that that we have folks going to Hampshire College and other colleges but in terms of a true public Mm -hmm. venue there aren't a lot of theater venues in in the area so yeah but you know i agree that that we don't fund, we certainly don't fully fund them you know being as far away as they are i think you're in the right ball, ballpark there why don't we leave it at four it's not it's not nothing but it's also you know reflects the the location mm -hmm. unless anybody wants to advocate for higher or lower i i mean i personally had it slated in around 500 but um you know, it, it, nothing's final here. I mean, I would like to do a little more considering, like you said, there's so little theater and so few venues. That's a real thing. Okay, I'll try yeah. for it. I was also thinking five. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I'll, um, the next one I'll I'll just jump to that I would I would like to fully fund this if possible. Um, it's around Amherst, uh, Amherst, Robert Frost and his birthday, um, his 150, 150th anniversary of his birth. And just the the legacy that we've we've had here in, in the region, it's, it's music, it's performance, it's um, just so many amazing things right right here in, in Amherst. And it doesn't happen every year. It's not like we can apply for this again next year. Um, it is it is a sizable ask though, but it sounds pretty pretty special. I think we should do something very meaningful here. Well, we do see Illuminati every year. Not I'm mean, I'm not arguing against you, but you know they're they are a, a you know annual grant grantee. So, but I agree, it's a nice. Um, they they actually have an either or for their venues. Um, it was it. I, it's not something I'm going to worry about. You know, that's I, think I, that, I have full faith that this will happen. Yeah, and they've got their their date there it's coming soon uh 
I haven't looked back to see what their award has been in in past years because you know while we do have inflation and everything else when somebody comes back and they like tripled their ask you know i kind of take that into account but their grant um in 2023 was 565 dollars again i think this is a, a larger thing that they're putting together with and for the community this, this particular one and uh, they were at 450 in 2022 so this is a larger ask so this is school kids and most of this money is for um Todd and his assistant director or directors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is a little funky. It says, you know, artistic director, this falls outside the usual range of her duties. Oh, so maybe it's not Todd, but whoever the um you know this wouldn't be something that they would do as a part of their music program. Am I crazy there? No, I, I think it's it's different in that they're not just picking up like a known vocal choral work and performing it, right? They're doing this entire event for the community. Um and I, I Okay. There you see. We will provide a bass choir and other ensembles will join or perform movement solo. So it's an exciting project. I think we certainly need to fund it um in part. I, I like the five hundred dollar number. I, I'm, you know, I'd want to look at the number, the budget a little bit more closely to understand the actual expenditure. Because I, to me, this is, you know, students and mm -hmm. choir teachers. Um, but why don't we? I mean, I think we're agreed a strong partial. Yeah, I mean, I think they definitely full. need, you know, to be able to cover some of the extra stipends and the space rental and. I think space would be free. No, it's not. Oh, really? No, that's that's no, you gotta you gotta pay anywhere that you go, uh, and they, oh, yeah. they have to yeah, pay you're right. for the too, and they wouldn't normally have to do all that. So, yeah. I'd I'd like to see us go a little higher, but okay. I don't know the money. Sure. Um. All right, going to Klez. Klez is a big. I mean. People loved Klez Cummington this past year. It was a huge hit. Oh. Tons of tons of press coverage, ton, tons of participation. We got a lot of great um, you know, people people will send in, you know, follow-up, follow-ups to performances. <laughs> we got a lot of that from them. Um, you know, it's way up in Cummington. So that's the only that's the only sort of quasi-negative. But when you look at the size of the production, the twenty thousand dollar production, yeah. um I can't knock uh, a a Klezmer music festival coming to the region and not being right here in in Amherst, given how unique and just wonderful that is. Like it's in our region, it's amazing. Clearly, we will have any number of people from the community attending and enjoying, and and it draws people into the region at large. So, I would think there'd be some overlap with our um, offerings as far as historic sites, restaurants, shops, and all that too. So the is anybody advocating absolutely. to fully fund it or fund it at a different level? I would say fully fund if we can. I mean, it's, it's what, it's only um, $600. Yep. Yeah. I would, I was actually going to say the same thing. So I, I think it, it seems like such a cool event and we do have very cool, like Yiddish culture and history around here with the Yiddish book center. And yeah, I was just glad to see it. So. Great. Yeah, that's true. Why are they performing at the Yiddish book, book center? I think we should we should suggest that. That's a great spot. Um okay. The Lefevre, these also seem to be very well received from what I from what I can gather. I've I've gotta I, I gotta put the brakes on this one though, because once again, dates to be determined and the grounds of the strong house and no letter and no communication out to us now they've got a great history of having performed at the strong house in the in the past so again i think there's every reason that this no there's is, a letter is there yep yeah. um for catching that yeah yeah it's there it's in the it's in the application itself yes as part oh, of the good. Good. Yeah. all right um Okay, so that's why they didn't communicate, I guess, because they thought that they were covered enough. 
Yeah, and you know, this is also a little bit at the mercy of of how the historical society schedules their series as well. So I I think we should just focus on the merits of the grant of the application for this one. Uh I I do have a note from the very beginning though as far as you know I, I think we came up against this last year as well. The Strong House has their own music series and then they have additional artists coming in to perform there that they support and say hey we want them to to come but we do end up with to our to the community's benefit a lot of programming there but the total amount going to have performances at the strong if you take that whole number it's it's it gets to be a pretty big number and i think we have to kind of consider that other otherwise i would say just fully fund it because it's here and uh for the community and are you saying there's another strong house grant strings on the strong? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. this, I mean, this is a pretty different thing than that, but I, you know, I, I know what you mean. I guess I, I don't know. On the merits of this one alone, you were kind of questioning the venue, and I, and I'm, we're, we're just no, saying, no, the venue and the date are good. I was just literally looking at this chart here and seeing that we didn't have anything else come in, but it's in the application, so that that's fine with me. Now it's just, um, I, I think we just need to be aware. That of how much money is going specifically for programming right there. Well, it's right in the middle of downtown. I mean, no, I mean, a great, I, I, great spot. I I think it's it's great, but at the same time, I think we already looked at saying that. Oh no, we'd really like to uh, fully fund the strings at the strong. Right, we did. So that is two thousand eight hundred that we'd like to do there. And then this is another 800. And then um, then there's another one that will follow um, that is, I believe, another 750 that's being asked. I thought we were not going to give the full amount for the strings at the strong, depending on what's available. I mean, that was something because it's 700 per concert or something like that, right? But that's- Yeah, I mean, yeah, I- point. Yeah. I think there it was. Oh, if we just had a ton of money, yes, but it's it's uh it's it's a lot, and it's a lot when well, you look at all the programming collectively. Yeah, so, which I don't think is really the way that we should do this. But but even if it were, I mean, does four hundred seem like a too much for this? I believe it's eight hundred they're asking for, isn't it? Oh, on, on the screen, I had I had them penciled in at four. Uh. I mean, I think as as far as you know, the musicians getting paid, it'll be low, but they would probably still still perform. Are we their only source? Um, let me take a look. Yeah, we're their only source. They don't mention that. They they said that no other sources of income were needed. So we may be able to negotiate the amount we're asking for if needed. So what does that so mean? I'm, I think we'll just, why don't we propose four for now and we can if we want to adjust it, we can. Okay. <clears throat> All right. We have Connections Concert, Sophie Lippert, and she did send us a lot of additional information. Oh, okay. And um, I personally liked this and... Uh, you know, but but twelve hundred is a lot. Despite, I mean, regardless of what she's asking for, it's a it's a large portion of our of our overall. Yeah, I I, I don't know what number you have there, but I I really couldn't see going more than like around five hundred, considering. Um... So in the budget, they're talking about um, four hundred dollars per musician per show. So they got mm -hmm. um, they have three musicians playing three shows that gets to thirty six hundred. So if we were paying for one show, that would be twelve hundred to the musicians themselves, and then additional money has to do with graphic design for their for their press, um, their series man their series manager and their production costs. Um, oh geez, and then space rental for. Rehearsal, 
I guess they're actually renting they're renting the spaces for the shows too. And I'm hoping that they did apply to other cultural councils. They wrote it kind of funny, but it looks like they applied hopefully to Northampton, Holyoke, East Hampton, <clears throat> and Amherst. Yeah, At to those point, four. Um, you know, they're asking us for the entire budget, and yet they've applied to four other councils. So I would would say that we could easily assume that since it's not right here in Amherst that we, you know, there should be other councils contributing to this this budget, especially the ones that have the shows physically there. What's a little tricky with this for me is is the feasibility question. You know, if they really think that they need twelve thousand to to pull this thing off, um, I don't know. What they say is if grant funds don't cover full funding. We will creatively resource and reorient so the project continues to be tenable. Um, which, but then their ideas are a little bit, you know, series subscription tickets and things like that. Um, so I, you know, I, I don't think we can give them much. I mean, a thousand, I think would be probably the, the absolute tops we could give them. Um, and, and, you know, that it just makes me nervous for them that they won't be able to pull it off if they only get, you know, 4,000, 1,000 from each of us. Um, so are you proposing we don't fund it at all? I don't know what I'm proposing, honestly. Okay. I mean, well, I, look, their budget's got things like videographer, event photographer, you know, I mean, there's their budget is, is quite fat. Mm -hmm. And I just, it's how realistic is this budget? Um Yeah, I, 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 right. Go ahead, Cody. Sorry, I wasn't looking. Let me jump in. I wouldn't find it. Matt has a good point. You know what? If it doesn't happen, we just waste it. Let's say a thousand dollars where we could have gave it to someone else. So that's my only fear. I mean, the only thing is their look. Their materials are great. Like they've got a lot of great supporting materials. They seem very, very talented, committed, and they make they make several statements to the effect of if we don't get what we want, we're gonna find a way to make this thing happen. Like, you know, cheaper venues, cut, cut, cut. So yeah, I, I, so I was gonna say yeah, but I don't think I feel comfortable not funding it because of like the possibility that they have too big of a budget or something i don't know i think like they've given us a lot of information and a lot of materials and seem very competent and like i don't think that we can kind of make a judgment based on like well we're not sure about how they balance their budget here yeah. i don't know they would, maybe that is our job but <laughs> yeah they, they owe the money back if they can't do it and then we go back to the you know we would have to do this as not enough public benefit and and frankly i can't argue that there's not enough public benefit. There's certainly not enough public benefit for us to give them the full ask. And especially since there should be three or four other cultural councils contributing. Um, but I'm kind of, I'm back to where I was to begin with that I see $500 being appropriate for the amount of public benefit that I believe folks from Amherst will, will enjoy versus the rest of our slate. And with the understanding that we think that the budget's a bit, uh, you know, a bit full, lots of detail, you know, they provided information, you know, will they, will they actually still pay for the videographer if they don't get all of the money? Will somebody volunteer to do that? Like, there's a lot that can happen, but I think just the amount that we give to the amount of public benefit compared to everything else we're doing, I, I feel really comfortable with, with 500 and hope that they'll feel that that's, you know, meaningful to them and helpful. You know, if it, if there was a performance here, you know, that would be a, a different story if, you know, it would still be quite quite a large budget and quite a large ask. I mean, literally, it's, you know, like one one fifth of what we have. So I wish people would, would look at what they're asking and, you know, 
keep things a little bit more tied to like what's happened for other grantees year to year? I think I'm going to advocate pretty strongly for it to get to a thousand if we can. Just, I just, I just looking at the quality of the performers um, and, and I just, I worry that it's not going to happen at 500 at that point. If, if, if all four of us only gave five, it would only get to 2000. I don't think they could pull that off. I think if we all gave a thousand, maybe, you know, I, I don't know. And I, and I agree with Cody. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a gamble, but at the end of the day, if they don't, as you said, Julian, if, if they don't, if they give the money back, we will distribute the money next year. And obviously we'd rather distribute it this year than next year, but it's not like it's, I, I feel like it's a gamble that's worth taking based on the quality of the artists. And, and to Eleanor's point, I mean, we don't want to penalize them for bad budgeting. Like that's not, I mean, it no. shouldn't help them, but it also shouldn't be a, a I don't know. That's, that's kind of yeah. my. Yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's see what we could do. Cause I, I, I think we're all seeing that there is value. Um, yeah. Okay. We also don't right. know what the other councils are going to be giving them. Just because we give five hundred, <laughs> doesn't mean people are going to match that, right? Or they could give, be be giving them more. So it's just what we think is fair, um, based on our budget and our grantees. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And okay, so we'll we'll shoot for it. But I I understand if we have to if we have to turn that one down. I certainly understand that. Um, well, the next. Okay, so this I... is now the on the board. Oh. Yeah, I was just gonna say I'll, I'll, I'll advocate to fully fund it as far as a two hundred dollar ask for for local theater. Um, that okay. Is is there anyone who does not support fully funding it at two hundred dollars? Yeah, thank you. It was it was a good application. Uh, hmm. Are you willing to share the, your screen again, Matt, or was that? Yes, I, I will. I, I just I was to toggling over that. to something else, and I didn't want to. Uh, okay, no, don't worry. No, no, let me put it up. Um, but I liked. Let's see. Let's see. Where where are we at? If we put, I plugged in that thousand, so we're a little over right now. We're about seven hundred over, just for the just for the discussion. I'm not. We don't have to perseverate on it, but. Um, okay, so then. Now. If anybody follows the social media channels from ACC, uh, I mean, Salsa Con Tacos Latin Dance is, they are probably the most enthusiastic sort of self-promoters in a good way. I mean, and and if you drive through downtown on, I'm not sure what nights they're doing it right now, but in the summertime, I think it was Tuesday nights, if you drive through, I mean, they're out on Kendrick Park with 20, 30 people doing salsa dancing. I mean, um I have a pretty soft spot for for these folks at this point. They're they they work hard. They they're passionate, and they bring something of of cultural value to us. I I think they're fantastic and would generally support fully funding it. I mean, I think I think the value is there. It is a a much larger ask than than last year, but I think they've they've grown, and I think the the merit is there to to support that. Um, what did we give them last year? Oh, Christy, sorry. Um, this is a a, a non-grant related question. Um, I am supposed to be upstairs at a Hanukkah lighting event. <laughs> um, if I leave for the last half hour, are you okay without me here? Yes. Yes. Like, Please. Because I have to go light the candle. Happy Hanukkah. Yes, light the candles. Happy Hanukkah. I'm, happy I'm Hanukkah. so sorry. I'm so no, sorry. No, First, no, never I apologize. No, um, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Thank Goodbye. You. I'll be here at the next one. And I'm very free and I'm not teaching on Tuesday if you need to schedule something else too. So I'm here. Wonderful. Thank you, Happy Christine. Hanukkah, nice Christy. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you. I will talk to you anon. <laughs> um, <laughs> tonight is tonight the first night of Hanukkah? It is. Yeah. I'm sorry. Y'all, we need to. Be... Okay. Anyway, um, onto yeah, the budget. If, yeah, if we or, were trying to oh, to not last year. Yeah, last year the the grant award was twelve hundred. I'm not. Where do I have to go to see what the ask was? So again, I mean, I I think the merit is there based on what they've done in the last year to 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 fund them, you know further to, to increase i just don't know that we have full, you know fully to go quite that much and i guess you have it at, at 
I, I I agree that if if we can do half of what they're asking, it is at least an increase from last year. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I feel awesome. good. I feel good going up, but you know, and that's a that's a merit based increase. <laughs> yep. Cody, sorry. Um. Yeah, I was going to say it's thousand or nine hundred. Just keep in mind we're seven hundred over, but yeah, very high portion. I don't know. I'd have to push back, Cody. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable giving them less than we gave them last year, considering just how much, um, you know, community uh, cohesion, gathering, fun, culture, like everything that they brought to the community, something totally new and different. So I, I couldn't fund them less myself. And uh, So we say the 12 100. I think Matt has them listed for half of it at fifteen hundred, which I, I oh, certainly right. would support if we have it. Yeah. Let, me, let me zoom in a little bit. So this is yeah. I, I mean, it goes for several see. weeks. It's it's like it's it like three months or four months worth of events. It's year round. I mean, they, they're go they, they're going basically year round. Now, the specifics of our grant might be only a, like a few months, but but I mean, these people dance. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like this yeah. is this is an active group, and and uh, and it brings people in. Yeah, it's fantastic. That's awesome. Is that too big? It's I think to... it's starting to work. It's just whether we can tell what it is. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, okay. This next do... one, I, I, we don't have dates. I, I've been wrong about this before. Um, yep. Need dates and location. Uh, Why they were do... they not on our list of previous? Um... Um, I, I, I think it's something that uh, because it was film and it was in pre-production so they're already doing it and the it says the production will start in 2023 in november um and i guess i think the way you were reading it matt where will the project take place that the filming was in pelham uh and and the, then with bob mcclung on, on the bob mcclung trail in amherst and in uh, out in Cape Cod at Orleans, uh, and the editing was going to happen at Melissa's house in Hadley. So to that extent, work is happening here. Um, this is awesome. This project is, is awesome. I mean, yeah. this is this is finishing funds for this project, which, you know, it's not an supposedly, expensive ask. If this schedule is is accurate, you know, this is finishing projects for funds for a project that that should be shot by now. Um, I guess the, the tricky part is we will have a free community screening of the film when it is it is complete. And that's that's really kind of like the delivery. And we don't yeah. have a place or a date for that. Um so I'd I'd like to have that. I'd like to fund it, you know. I'm just looking through the thing, the application. I mean, this is a Like they have, they have high credibility. Um, Northampton Open Media to organize a screening at a local venue. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess there's a world where we can just say we don't know exactly what day and what theater you're going to play it at, and and that wouldn't be wrong. But I think there's also a world where we can say that this is a this is a film project, and so it's it's slightly different than a you know again a, a concert. I, I'm I'm okay certainly with where where you have the the partial grant at. I just think we kind of owe it to ourselves, as we said, with a couple of these others to say, hey, you know, <laughs> send us something, so, you know, communicate something to us. Yeah. 
All right. Well, why don't we why don't we leave it here? Um, and I can I can follow up with them. I'm starting a little list. I've got Kamaya Diggs and McClung that I will reach out to. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I really would like to do this. I think you're you're spot. And by the way, I did get a call back from Silver Thorn late last night. Oh, good. And they said we're you know we're all volunteer organization. We missed the emails. We'll get you the final report ASAP. So. We'll see. I told him ASAP better be ASAP because we're, you know, we're, we're done soon. Um, okay. So this is, what is this? Every day more fathomless. I did check this one and it, I believe it was scheduled at the library if I'm remembering right. I think I did. Photography that I shot at Emily Dickinson's home and pottery that finished features, features her words. This one is lovely. I thought this was lovely. It is lovely. Um, as far as the funding of it. Um, Can we fully fund this one? No, we can't. <laughs> so they they noted to us they have an $892 budget and they noted to us that they received $500 already. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, from what? From us? Uh, from Mass Mocha. So I would be in favor of, of funding the balance of it, you know. Um, no, 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 no. Pause. No. I use that money to fund the photography and the ceramic portion of this project. So then she has a budget for the additional work to be done on the project. And then, so Burnett Gallery Committee has got a letter with a contract and a date the show is supposed to be playing now. Yeah, and then there's also supposed to be a community screening of the film in addition. Um, is it is it playing at the Jones? <laughs> I, I, you know, I looked at this like two weeks ago and I think it wasn't on my list because I thought I saw that it was scheduled to be there. Right. Jones Library, what's the, what is it called? Um Uh, Medeiros, Medeiros. Oh, here it is. It's on there. Uh... You know what? Part of the reason we're so confused is which one are we looking at? Are we looking at not the McClung? We're looking at the Everyday More Fathomless, right? Yep. Yep. Welcome to the it's, meeting. It's advertised man. on the Jones website. So I'm confused because it says the amount that they're requesting is five hundred dollars, and then in the in the chart that we have, does your chart say eight hundred and ninety two is the ask? No, that's their total budget. This is total budget. Okay. Uh, ask and then award. I should know that by now. All right. Um, I'm with Rachel. I want to. I want to fully fund this. I think it's a strong application with supporting okay. materials. Okay. Yeah. I see Cody nodding. Yep. Eleanor's, yep. Eleanor's thinking. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm good. I'm good with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as long as it wasn't the thing where I thought it was going to be like over over the budget, then I'm good. Okay. It, I mean, it was only like a difference of eight bucks anyway. Tiny Glass Tavern. This all seems wonderful, but I did note having to reduce it for location. What do they have to reduce? Um, just that it's it's like in in Conway in Northampton. And, oh, for yeah. You know, I mean, it's actually a pretty small. No, it's in Northampton. It says. Conway in Northampton. But I mean, 
I was just saying as far as far as compared to fully funding that, I'm not saying to mm -hmm. think you already had had adjusted, right? Yeah, but I adjusted everybody. I mean, don't take that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's such a small ask. On the one hand, I'd I'd like to fully fund it. Yeah, I would support fully funding something like this versus one that's further down the list where we gave them like what amounts to 10%, but it's still a high number just because what they requested was so high, relatively speaking. So I would mm -hmm. support fully funding this one. That's one of the tricky things, Rachel, is, is you know, if you try to use a percentage yep. formula, people who ask exorbitant amounts get disreport, you know. So exactly. It's... That's why I was thinking that yeah, compared to that one I'm thinking of later, you know, further down the list, this one feels fair to fully fund because of the amount. Yeah, I yeah. agree. And they had a, they were awarded around, I think it was $95 last year. So, I mean, it's, it's been reasonable asks. Yeah. Um, okay. Mohawk Trail. Chamber music in Charlemont at the church. I have a note uh -huh. to reduce somewhat for for location and music. Um, let me just confirm. Last year, their award was one ninety. 190? 190, yeah. Oh, well, then that 250 seems right. Yeah. And then, Agreed. Uh, yep. And then the prior year we were at 200. So, yeah, that okay. would be an increase at least. All right. I want to fund this Shakespeare Festival. Me Tell too. me why I can't. I want to do it too. <laughs> and yes, it's in Montague, but, you know, again, it's a regional thing. Like, we should have that in the region. Uh, if you oh, haven't been to the Shea the Theater, Hmm? Go to the Shea Theater for something. It's like, you know, in downtown Turner's Falls, I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's a little town, but they really, really care about their their culture. Um, they have a, a city planner who is a part-time culture director, part-time planner. Um, she's fabulous. And and Shea Theater is just one of the coolest theaters in, in the area. And they use it for all kinds of wild stuff all the time. It's great. Yeah, sounds sounds great to me. Yeah, you've 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 convinced me totally. <laughs> <laughs> there's also so many. There's great little shops in Turner's Falls. It really and it's a beautiful drive up from Amherst. Like, can't say enough about it. Yeah, I mean, if we have it, let's do it. Okay, um, next up we have Mother's Institute for Change. I think this is one that we already discussed that we couldn't do. Okay. How come? Uh, there were issues with date and location, right? They didn't communicate. Right. It just says May 24 somewhere in North here. Month long, month long citywide event in May, and then they list off a bunch of locations um, in Northampton. Um, pretty impressive, you know, folks involved. Director of, uh, well, wait a minute. Um, most of the money goes, well, all kinds of different things, space rental artists. So if folks don't have it in front of them, you should pull this one up on the panel, on the panel book. Cause it's a, it's a pretty complex proposal to say the least. Um, it's on page, if you're in the PDF, page 433. There's a lot of there's a lot of print material already out there from oh, and they did it last year. 
and they did it they might not have done it in 23 they did but they did it in 22. they say many exhibition events will be free to the public tickets range from zero to fifty dollars this looks kind of awesome the only thing is i couldn't figure out why on their proposal they don't mention having applied to other lccs not even northampton it doesn't it's not listed if if it if it says you know if they did because if you look at it's on my pdf it's uh it's page four four thirty nine and page seven of seven yeah hey, you're right um, and it doesn't mention anything that's that was my main question is if why wouldn't they be applying to other lccs or I think, it's just they not I think they, well, they didn't they say they didn't they just sort of gave a, a non it <laughs> like I, maybe they misread the question or something I think it was more of a clever thing of, oh, if we just put this, we can just write the same thing for all of them. Right. Or I don't know. I mean, I, I well, my guess is that they probably did apply to other. How uh, much time are they saving themselves? You know, it's silly. Um, although but some people yeah. might think that applying to multiple councils will be penalized, you know? Oh, gosh. Um, but you're right, Rachel, that that's that's not great. They should have said that. I, so I don't know. I mean, just, just going from the the amount of sheer energy that's in this application in terms of like flyers and lists of names and lists of venues, I think this is a feasible thing. And these are some serious mothers who want to pull this thing off. I would still would like them to communicate something to us that's a little more concrete than well, it's going to be the whole month, and it's going to be all across the the city of Northampton. Well, if if they have been non-responsive in that respect, then I would not support half of the amount that's listed there right now, personally. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, what's a what's the number? They're asking for two thousand five hundred dollars, and that, that's a lot of money to ask for and not to be responsive to when when we say we need more information about your dates and location or you most certainly will not be funded well but again they gave it the date range and the locations so i'm not sure that they fall into that category so what's the number that folks would feel comfortable with thousand seven fifty seven fifty for me okay all right let's just see where that puts us on our on our bottom line yeah look we're still we're still right within the range we need to be so we're not you know we're doing good and by the way i mean none of the numbers i put in here represent my opinion at all it's just me balancing this thing out so that we have something to to react to um okay 750 so let's move on we can come back to that one if we want to oh my god autistic fantastic hip-hop chair dance for seniors february and april at the arbors and the center for extended care um okay this is this is all fantastic and i guess on the one hand we should be grateful that this applicant is putting all all events into one application not missing anything but it is uh double essentially double double uh, what what's happened in prior years so we have given ronde drafts money in the prior years mm -hmm. okay good yep but like how much did we give her last year um i'm looking right now close and close and close it was 600 last year and it was uh 600 the year before so I think it'd be nice to to increase, but I don't I don't think we're in a position to to double it. Yeah, let's stick with and and we have good grant final reports from her and everything. Yeah, sure. All right, well, let's let's give it a nudge up and. I will say eight hundred. I could support that. Okay. Um, 
Afghanistan today. Sorry, I'm sorry. Did anybody have any other like we can we can tweak Ronde drafts, but does that number seem comfortable for now? Yeah, I think that's good. Didn't mean to buzz um, by there. Okay. We're doing great. We have eight minutes left. Let's keep going. Okay. We're gonna keep going, and I'm gonna get ahead of this one because um I've been at the forefront of doing a ton of um you know communication out, which I'm happy to do as part of my my service here. But in this case, in uh, in a prior year, last year, we gave a partial grant, and it was very difficult to uh, to to make the grant, you know, to begin with, and then to get the documentation. It was you know, basically in the, in the final grant report documentation, they kind of came back and said, it's, you know, just too much work. And then in the very end, someone, the, the actual applicant came back and said, we didn't even accept the money. You didn't even give it to us. I don't know why you're asking, although they did take the check and kind of sent me a, uh, sent us a scathing, uh, kind of questioning of partial granting. So um, I would have to say that unless anyone's in favor of fully funding it, I don't think we can partially fund it. Um, it is here in Amherst. It's a, it's an interesting work, but uh, it sounded to me like this grantee really um, is is not particularly receptive to partial funding and considered it somewhat did they, responsible. Did they, did they complete a grant final report? Uh, in, in the, in the end, yes. And they did, they did the performance that they were paid for. And they did the performance, but um, I found it concerning that I was told that they hadn't taken the money when they had. And, and then when they, you know, and that the, they said the reason they didn't take the money was it, it wasn't what they asked for, but then they did. So, I mean, these are, these are volunteer organizations with a lot of people, but this, in the end, this was the person who was actually on, on, on the grant corresponding, not knowing that they'd taken the, the funds and, questioning that we didn't, you know, provide more funds. Well, that's, that's tricky for me. Um, yeah, I actually had a really high score for this proposal um, until hearing what I just heard. <laughs> so it's it feels like it's it's hard to based on what you're saying what you're relaying julianne it feels like um i think i think in principle all applicants would not like partial funding they would ideally like to get fully funded right of course of course so, um yeah um How much did we fund them? Uh, last year, we funded them eight hundred and fifty dollars. You know what? Let me let me look at this email and make sure that I'm not. There's been a lot of correspondence. Let me make sure I've got the right one. Maybe we should come back to this one after I, I put my hands on the exact one. Sure. I'm, I'm happy to come back to it. Maybe we can do one more. Um, but I mean, you know, barring anything disqualifying, it, it, uh, you know, the, the overall merit seems good. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So then we have a youth performance center. Uh, I'm sorry, a youth performance festival. What was this one? I'm sorry. Oh, this looks great.
So this Youth Performance Festival has got a very impressive group of people attached to it. Um, I know I actually know a bunch of those folks um, in passing. And the festival itself takes place now, in theory, uh, at Northampton Center for the Arts and make it Springfield. Um, Over seven weekends at two different locations, young artists work in cohorts to make um, art. Two live performances for the greater community on February 10th and 11th. Yeah, no, it's, it's a fantastic uh, event and a reasonable ask. I'm gonna try to nudge it above that 50%, nudge it up to 800 or something. Yeah, if we can do it, that would be great. I personally would. Never mind. Go ahead, Rachel. I was going to say, leave it where it is, unless we think we can give them more. But that's. What do we have? Well, it out of you know, our next basically, this is what we'll do for our next meeting. We will, you know, the entire hour and a half, we're going to spend kind of going through this and trying to get, you know, get our bottom line to balance and. If we're successful, then we can have a vote then. And if we're not, we'll have to schedule another meeting. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going to say with that one, I would personally leave it at 500. But I, I'd, I'd yeah. like to see it go up to, to 750, given the, the total number of folks. What What is helpful for me to send? Should I send this in a spreadsheet form for people to play with on their own? I'm a little nervous about doing that. I I think it's better that we keep going as as we're we have been, unless. Um, yeah, I, I think so too. Because every you can wind up, every goes different directions. Then and and then it's hard to come back together. Um. Okay. Well, I will just I what I'll do is I'll I'll do what I did again though. I'll send out a PDF, just so folks can see what the slate is looking like. And and if you have I, something, I still feel like I I'm not real. I guess you already sent it out. I that was my hesitation. Yeah, so, and we did it all year last year too. It worked. It worked great. Um, because it's really all it is is just a. Um, it just it, it's an artifact of today's meeting. You know. Yeah. Okay. So I think we've made great progress, and yeah, thank we'll, you we'll so much there. for oh. your hard work, co-chairs. <laughs> Yes, thank thanks you. to all of you too. Thank you all. Okay. Rolling with it. All right. Well, <laughs> go enjoy your evenings and we'll we'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. Good night, everybody. <laughs> thank night you. There. Ending the recording. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Um...